has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Hands off to Foose. Bobbles. Collects. Two. He got it. And the score! Live play-by-play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by All Pro Capital Real Estate Investments. By Big O Tires. Stop by your locally owned and operated Big O Tires. The team you trust. Les Olson, IT, your office technology partner. Also by Valhalla Fiduciary, expertise and independence in hedge funds. Brought to you by Delta, the official airline of BYU football. And by Smith's Food and Drug. Get double fuel points and free grocery delivery with a boost by Smith's Rewards membership. It's time to play BYU basketball. Right wing, left corner, Trevin for three. Trevin now knocks it down. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. The Aztecs go Lamont Butler, Darion Trammell, Matt Bradley, Keyshaw Johnson, Nathan Mensa. Mark, how does BYU start? At the point, Rudy Williams. Two man is Spencer Johnson, three, Gideon George, number five, and Jackson Robinson's at the four. He's number two, and at the big fellow, the man in the middle, number 45, Fusini Tarori. The officials, David Hall, Vern Harris, Randy McCall. Davey Hall has the ball ready for play, strides in. We'll toss it up for Mensah and Foose, and Mensah slaps it back into backcourt. And San Diego State in the home whites with red and black. BYU the road, Royals with white. And the Aztecs come right to left as we see it and you hear it. The Aztec front court right in front of us. Butler goes low. Immediately, Keyshawn Johnson hard to the hole, squeezes it up and in. And just like that, an early post feed. And an early easy two for Keyshawn Johnson. The Aztecs up to zip. Keyshawn and Mensa are going to be tough down low. Two big, talented guys. Mensa had 18-8 and eight against BYU in the Merritt Center. Left wing Gideon George. His post feed deflected but finds Foose on the baseline. It'll actually be out of bounds off of the Aztecs. And BYU will send it in on the base. 35 seconds in, Aztecs two, and BYU no score. BYU left to right from our vantage point. And the baseline away from us to our right. As Rudy Williams as the trigger man. Rudy into Spencer Johnson. 20-footer is back rimmed. And the rebound crashed down and clapped, uh, captured by Matt Bradley. Lamont. Butler runs into Rudy Williams. And Rudy's called for the block. Yeah, Rudy anticipated the right direction. Almost got the steal, but bumped in to the Aztec player and gets the whistle out front. Cougs misfire on their first shot. Aztec second possession. A deflected ball by Foose on an entry pass. And Rudy Williams comes the other way. He'll drive it to the rim. Scoop and score. (laughs) Nicely done by Rudy Williams. Ties the game at two. It started with terrific defensive play by Foose to get a hand on that pass. Would have been a dunk. We'll call it an early Palmer's Metal Mart. Steal of the game brought to you by Palmer's Metal Mart. Palmer's Metal Mart, your local metal supplier for over 26 years. Jump or miss from the free throw line, but on offensive rebound, Matt Bradley. Uh, Four BYU players there just tips off their hand. No, no Aztec was there. Straight away, Darion Trammell with Spencer going over the screen. Straight away, Keyshaw Johnson. Oh. His shot is blocked by Jackson Robinson, and then the Aztecs take it right back as the Cougars were looking in transition on the end line. Another Aztec turnover, and this time the Cougs do come on the break. A deflected ball out of bounds by Trammell, and BYU basketball in front court were 2 2. A lot of back and forth action we go, and the Cougars very active defensively yeah, early. Doing a nice job defensively, and then they get out of transition. You just have to make smart plays. Don't try and make the spectacular play. Rudy has a tendency to be a little careless in transition. He's so exciting to watch, but man, he can turn it over. Williams, top of the key, has the only two for BYU. Straight away, Robinson at the left elbow, Foose. Foose to the middle, gets nice. low off the window, and nicely done with the right hand. Foose and a Traore, and the Cougs have scored four in a row, and the Cougs lead 4 2, two minutes in. This is a good start. Nice, solid play, not flustered, making San Diego State earn it. Tremel left wing, penetration kick right wing. Lamont Butler, step back three for the lead, knocks it down. Lamont Butler for three, and the Aztecs go on top by a score of 5 to 4. Gideon George will drive the end line. Cut off on the base. Patiently to the front of the rim. Up and in. And the foul. A chance for a three-point play for Gideon George. Oh, you get good things in transition. They get it up quickly on the sideline to Gideon, who's got a one-on-one. And like I've said many times, Gideon's going to beat you if it's one-on-one. Unless he get, you get help, he will score it. And the foul comes and a chance for a three-point play. Keyshawn Johnson picks it up. His first and the Aztecs first. And the Cougs on top. By a score of 6-5. to five. And make it 7-5. to five. BYU by two as Gideon knocks down the free throw. And he completes a three-point play. 
Okay, like setting a high screen on Rudy a lot. He tends to get picked too easily. Got to get he, through those. He shot Johnson straight away. Matt Bradley just inside the three-point line. We'll drive it, float it, back rim it. Offensive rebound, Keyshaw Johnson up and in. We're tied at seven. Johnson's got four, and we're even again. This will be a real test for BYU's wing rebounders. They've got to get in there, and San Diego State just crashing the boards. Early 3-1 rebounding edge for the home side. BYU front court left side, Jackson Robinson. Robinson will drive it. High off the window with a right hand and settles in off the back flange. And Jackson Robinson has his first two. And BYU goes back in front by two once again. We're three minutes in. It's BYU 9, San Diego State 7. Rudy the steal. Rudy will drive and dunk. And put the Cougs up four for the first time tonight. It's BYU 11 and San Diego State 7. I love it. He looks like a completely different player. He Both he and Jackson playing with a lot of confidence. Solid start for BYU. Trammell, step back triple, no, and a foul as Foose is held, and they'll call it on Nathan Mensah. Mm. Nice job by Foose, and Mensah had to yank Foose to deal with it, and it'll be a foul on Mensah, and the second on San Diego State. BYU basketball with 16.39 to go until halftime, and BYU leading it by a score of 11-7. to Playing aggressive, playing with some swagger, I, I love it. This is a completely different look from what we saw all night against the you know, Idaho State. Williams beats a mild half-court press. Jackson Robinson, transition triple, and he scores the three. Top of the key, our first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. And Rudy steals on the baseline. They'll say it just crawled over the boundary. So it'll stay Aztec basketball, but backtracking for a moment, the three by Jackson Robinson is our first Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer of the night. That's another $50 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. Jackson Robinson, who scored four on Monday, has five early early here, and BYU leads by 7 at 14-7. Oh, to seven. It's a 7 nothing BYU run. What a great start. And I know that Rudy and Jackson were not happy with how they played in that first game. They have come to play today. What a start. Aztecs basketball, and nearly a steal by Rudy on that last sequence before the whistle. Trammell straight away to the left elbow. Trammell picks it up and gives high to Jaden Ledee, who's checked in early. Ledee will drive and take a foul. As he throws it up, no good. It'll be a shooting foul, and it'll be Jackson Robinson picking it up. So two shots for the TCU and Ohio State transfer. Jaden Ledee, just 50% from the line on Monday against Cal State Fullerton, but he drew six fouls in that game, and he draws an early one here. You could see why. He just got it about top of the key and, and put his shoulder down, went quick, hard to the basket. Ladee spins out the free throw, 0 for 1. BYU basketball brought to you by All Pro Capital. Put your money to work with smart real estate investments. Visit allprocapital.com for more information. All Pro Capital, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. 0 for 1. 1 for 2. The second good. BYU's lead down to 6. It ends a 7 0 run. 14 to 8 Cougars, and we're nearly at the first media timeout. Extending the pressure defensively, full court. Rudy just handling it one on one. It gets it passed easily. Williams to Robinson, right wing. Spencer Johnson, straight away. Foose, left wing Gideon. He'll jab it, penetrate, oh, yeah. stop at the free throw line. Oh, Jumper, yeah. good. That was wicked little hard dribble crossover step back. Gideon George. Wow, what is this team we're seeing? Amazing B- start. BYU by a game high eight now, 16-8, to eight, and a travel turnover, and timeout on the floor will take it. 15-37 to go until halftime. Tremendous start for BYU. The Cougs leading San Diego State, 16-8. to eight. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Hey, Cougar fans, get more savings and more benefits with Boost by Smith's Rewards Membership. You'll enjoy free delivery and double fuel points for every dollar you spend on groceries and lots more. Membership starts at just $59, so sign up today at smithsfoodanddrug.com slash boost. And the Cougs with an uh, early boost in this game. We're at the first media timeout. The Cougs leading San Diego State by a score of 16-8. to And BYU's doing it on 7 of 8 shooting from the field. Just on fire offensively, doing a nice job defensively as well. And uh, that, that was the start we dreamed about. And the, the, this arena is almost as quiet as it was two years ago when no one was in it because BYU's come out and, and deflated this arena to start the game. Impressive. BYU in the Royal Blue taking it left to right as we see it and you hear it. Rudy Williams accelerates into front court right side. Spencer Johnson right wing straight away Jackson Robinson. 
Jackson left wing to Gideon George. Gideon to windmill. Will drive it. Stop at 10 feet. Stripped out of his hands. Turnover. Yeah, the big Achilles heel just needs to go strong with it. Darian Trammell hesitation. Nearly dragged the pivot foot. Squeezes up a shot heavy in the rebound to Gideon George. Good board clear by Gideon on a miss by Trammell. And Trammell is not hesitant about putting up shots. Foose, mid-alley left. Sees a double. They swipe down on it. The double leaves. The jump hook by Foose. No, but he's fouled. He'll get two free throws out of it. Good patience by Foose. And will they call Trammell or Ledee for the foul there? I think it's Jaden Ledee. I think I saw a 13 on a 12 on that signal. It will be Ledee. Ledee picks up his first. The uh, Aztecs have their third, and Foose will shoot two. He's got two on the night. Well, BYU doesn't have an assist in this game as Fusini hits the first. He had a couple big ones the other night. Those two late were amazing. But BYU's having a lot of success taking their man from the perimeter off the dribble and, and getting shots. And so you don't need assists. If, if they're going to try and guard you one-on-one and you can beat your man, you're in good shape. Two for two for Foose. Good to see early. And BYU has its large lead of the night. First double-digit advantage, 18-8, to eight, mm. with 14.55 to play here at Viejas Arena. Left wing, Adam Seiko's checked in. Seiko on a post feed to Aguaca Rupp. And Arup, also having just checked in, draws a foul. A bump in the back by Spencer Johnson. Non-shooting, it'll be on the end line. You've got about as an experienced a referee crew as you can find in college basketball. Randy and Dave and Vern, you, you know these guys by their first name because they've fixtures. 14.46 to play until halftime. Noah Waterman has checked in for BYU. The 6'11 junior from Savannah, New York. Transfer from Detroit. Left corner drive from Seiko. Seiko on a 15-second shot clock. 14.40 on the first half game clock. A rope is open for three, top of the key. It's no good. And a loose ball foul on BYU. Unfortunate. The miss three and badly miss three. But Noah Waterman's called for a holdoff. And that would have been BYU basketball coming the other way with a 10-point lead. Yeah, that was kind of a desperation yeah. look from a rope. That's not a shot you expect him to take. And he had, not, he had not taken a three in the opener and is only 19% for his career from deep. He had the advantage there. Noah had decent position. He didn't need to do that. And they're going to get him again holding on the screen. Wow, Noah Waterman barely checks in and is sitting. <laughs> Two fouls. Wow. Now Coach Pope may ride with Noah. He's not a starter. Yeah. Baseline send in, forthcoming from Darion Trammell. Trammell has it kicked out of bounds by Spencer Johnson. We have a 20 second shot clock and a 14 36 first half game clock and a BYU lead of 10, 18 to 8 over San Diego State here at Viejas. Trammell, baseline bounce into a rope, a rope base left to the left elbow. Jumper from there is good by Jaden Ledee. And so that foul ends up costing BYU two points. Spencer Johnson takes the entry from Waterman. Spencer into front court, beats Trammell to the three-point line. Waterman, left wing, Rudy Williams. Terminates on the perimeter, left. Waterman, left corner, left wing, Gideon. Back to Waterman, left corner. Waterman, straightaway, Williams. Down to an eight-second shot clock. The crowd will increase in intensity as it gets later in the clock. Williams. Bounces a pass, an unwise pass, turned over, and the Aztecs come away on the steal. 18 to 10, be lead down to eight. Trammell, three, top of the key, and there it is. Just like that. Yeah, I mean, this is going to happen, though. San Diego State's a good team. They're going to make runs. Now, this is the possession that's important. Take care of the ball, get a good shot. Waterman right wing, Johnson. Johnson shoves away. Trammell, offensive foul on Johnson, and the tenor of this game is changing in the span of just seconds. And the big play was the miss three by a rope, and Noah Waterman called for an offensive foul in getting the rebound. Since that time, it's been all Aztecs. And the thing is, if you don't extend your arm there, you get the whistle if you're Spencer Johnson because they initiated the contact, but then when he extends that left arm, he's going to get the charge. Johnson will sit. 18-13. BYU's 10-point lead down to five. Cook's needing a stop here. Driving is Micah Parrish and dribbles it off his foot out of bounds. Oh, they say off of BYU. Wow, that was good recovery. Their defense helped downside. It looked like they knocked it off his leg, but remains Aztec ball. So Trammell will send in. 13-22 to go until halftime. BYU by 5, 18-13. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. 
Siegfried and Jensen, helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. Trammell, baseline trigger man to the left of the Aztecs bucket. Seiko for three. In and out. Rebound Trey Stewart. Down floor Rudy Williams knocked out of Rudy's hands by Trammell. Oh, and they say Rudy touched last. It'll be San Diego State basketball the other way. Well, that's how I saw it. And just another mistake in transition. You got a three on one, really. And, and Trey tries to, to thread the needle up to Rudy. Just take it up the middle if you're Trey. And you've got numbers. Get, go get a good shot. Again, trying to make a great play. When a good play is going to get you two points. So the early 10-point lead will certainly come in handy as the Aztecs have come alive and have sliced into BYU's advantage. Dallin Hall in for Rudy Williams. Atiki Ali Atiki stepping in up top. Trammell beats Atiki to the base, throws it up, and Atiki recovers to block it out of bounds. It'll stay Aztecs basketball. I don't know how he blocked it that way because he, he shot it and then it went, he blocked it, but then it went up and over the shot clock. How does that happen? Trammell sends in. Bounce left corner, Bradley. Bradley, right wing three. Missing the three, but fouled on it. Is Micah Parrish. Trey Stewart on the follow foul. And it'll be three free throws for San Diego State. Since BYU's gone up ten, nothing's gone right. Your, your only starter out there is Gideon, and this second group has not come in and played with that confidence and security that the first group did. You had Noah not getting that rebound, getting two fouls. You had Trey to turn over and then a fouling on a three. You've got to be smart, especially if you're a guy trying to get time. You've got to just make the right decisions, or the coach can't afford to have you out there because he can't trust you to not do things like that. So really important when you come in off the bench, just play solid, play smart, do, do the things the coach wants you to do, and you'll be out there. Micah Parrish made all of his free throws on Monday. The six foot six, two hundred pound junior from Detroit, transfer from Oakland University in Michigan, hits three free throws to make it a two point game. Eighteen to thirteen, BYU by five. Cougs led eighteen to eight. Free throw good by Parrish. BYU basketball brought to you by Bam Bam's Barbecue. Bam Bam's bringing you authentic Central Texas barbecue. Try their tender brisket or mouth-watering pulled pork. Bam Bam's Barbecue, located just north of BYU's campus. Bam Bam's, proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. Two in a row, and it's a one-possession game. After that scintillating start for BYU, it's a whole new ball game early. 13-02 to play here in the first half. And this to make it a two-point game. Not a big fan of the, kind of the wholesale substitutions for BYU. Now you got five new guys on the floor as the third free throw is good. So a costly foul on that three, which was missed clearly before the contact. And it's two missed threes that have turned the game around for San Diego State. I got full court pressure against this young group. Dallin Hall beats the pass the timeline. 18 to 16. The Cougar lead down to two. Dallin will drive it. Underhand scoop. Too heavy. Rebound to a Guaca rope. A rope, front court right side. The Aztecs can take a lead. They were down 10. Bradley, right wing Parrish. Post feed Ladee. Ladee bodied by Waterman. The send out right wing to Trammell. Trammell on the arc. Pressured by Stewart. Ladee will drive it, base float it, and score a 10 0 run. San Diego State, 18 18 is our score. Cooks in front court, Waterman left side. Waterman harassed top of the key. Behind the back. Will drive it low, float it, and miss it at the rim. Everything but the finish. And the rebound to San Diego State. He's got good handles for a big man. He got the shot he wanted. Just too hard. Three for the lead. Nope. And a loose ball foul. And it's a hold on. <laughs> Noah Waterman, his third. Timeout on the floor. Well, from the first timeout to the second timeout, the whole game changed. From an 18 to 8 lead, it's an 18 18 ball game. We're taking a break. 11 55 to play in the first half. Cougars and Aztecs tied, and Waterman to the bench with three fouls, and they've all been costly. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Cleon Wall with a scoreboard update. BYU women's soccer team moves on in the NCAA tournament. They beat Utah Valley today 3 to nothing. Let's go back to the Built Bar seats. Here's Gregor Bell and Mark Durant. 
Cleon, thank you. Under 12 to play in the first half. It is BYU and San Diego State tied 18 apiece. The Aztecs shooting a free throw for a lead. That makes it an 11-0 run. And the Aztecs lead 19-18. to Well, these officials are helping. This veteran crew helping San Diego State back into this game. 8-3 to are the fouls. And Noah Waterman just gets mugged and doesn't get anything. And both free throws good. And they come down the other end and they, you know, it's a foul on the rebound. So, so Jaden Ledee bowls free throws. He's got seven and it's 20 to 18. BYU now down two. Richie Saunders for the lead. The three right corner. He knocks it down. Richie Saunders. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three pointer for BYU. A and a dribble out of bounds by Micah Parrish on the other end. It's BYU basketball. Went to shoot around today and I was watching all the shooters and the guy that I was most impressed with this shot is Richie Saunders. I mean, that guy is a deadly shooter and come to come in, get a big shot like that to stop the bleeding. That says a lot about Richie. He's got a smooth stroke, man. BYU 21 and San Diego State 20. Saunders for three. And the Cougars' second triple. They only won the entire first half against Idaho State. <laughs> well, remind me, but off to a great start here tonight. Trey Stewart front court right side. Straight away to Jackson Robinson. Enters it to a tiki. Knocked away. Gets it back. Right wing two. Trey Stewart knocked out of his hands. It'll stay BYU basketball. 11.26 to go until halftime. BYU 21, San Diego State 20. Cougs led by 10. Lost the lead, get it back. Robinson to the top. Dribbles down the lane, stops right block, down to a 10-second shot clock. Atiki Ali Atiki, jump hooks. Heavy, and I'm not sure if you listen to the crowd. The shot clock was at 8, and the crowd, the home crowd, counts it down to 2-1. and one. The 3 the other way, missed by Tremel Long, and the rebound of Jackson Robinson. Robinson front court left side, BYU 21, San Diego State 20. Robinson long on the triple, rebound to Nathan Mensah. Down floor Butler, he'll drop it off on the wing right side. Bradley will penetrate, hand high to Butler, Butler from the free throw line, kicks right wing, three by Ledee, no, rebound, Jackson Robinson. Mark Pope exhorting Robinson to get it into front court, Jackson does. Trey Stewart comes to meet on the wing right. Arcs a pass into Atiki Ali Atiki. A jab from the left elbow. Gets low. Blocked. Gets it back by Atiki. Go back up with the right hand and nicely done off the window. Atiki Ali Atiki scores his first two. And the Cougs up by three now. 23-20. Oh. Should have been a foul on Atiki, but he gets the block and he recovers. So turnover. And the Cougs the other way. Dallin Hall front court. Left side. Atiki, Atiki straight away. Like a huge swipe and they let him away with it. Robinson triple. Ooh. Good look from the top of the key. No. And the rebound to Jaden Ledee. Down floor Trammell. And a whistle. Hold on BYU. Okay, Robinson just working on Mensa. That's because... nine team fouls to three for San Diego State. Big size advantage for San Diego on that position as Tiki had to switch off of him and Jackson just a little too aggressive I like it though the Aztecs get one and one but they'll shoot two the rest of the way already with 9.57 to go here in the first half it is BYU by three 23-20 Coop's a nice little 4 nothing spurt after seeing a 10 point lead erased on the line Nathan Mensah Mensah did not take a free throw on Monday People in early, see yep. what they call it. Yep. Lane violation. Feared that was coming. The free throws missed, but he'll get another look at it. I think Trey Stewart was the one that fell in. I think, I don't know what you call there when both players go in, but the San Diego State player was in as well. Missed shots have benefited San Diego State here in the first half. There's been fouls off of them, a lane violation off of one. Second by Mensa. Good. Which is actually yeah. the first. Yeah, BYU's been bit on these free throws and, you know, the three-point free throw and then this one here and then the miss, the miss three and a, a foul on the rebound. I mean, they've, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot a little bit. Um, obviously, they're playing really well, but they could have an even bigger lead if not making those kind of mistakes. 23-21, Mensa Makes them both. After missing what would have been a front-end miss, but a lane violation gave him two points when he should have had zero. Driving baseline is Dallin Hall. He'll circle it to the arc. 
get out and of the key. throw to Williams, and what do we have? Three in the key, turnover BYU in a one-point game. 23-22, BYU leading it with 9.46 to play until halftime. He drove baseline, they kind of looped around in the key, picked up his dribble and was looking for someone to pass, couldn't find anyone, so he was stuck standing in the key. Easy call for the officials. Aztecs basketball in front court. Keyshawn Johnson back in the game. Enters it to Bradley. Fade away from 12. Off the iron. Tip no good. Rebound Dallin Hall. And a loose ball foul on San Diego State. Been a while. Keyshaw Johnson picks up his second. Aztecs have their fourth. The fouls are 9-4. to four With BYU on the disadvantaged end of the whistle. Saunders, Williams, Stewart, Hall, and Foos, the lineup for BYU. That's a really small lineup. A good job there to get that rebound off the miss. See if they really try to spread the floor, maybe get some three-point looks, or isolate Foos down low on the block. BYU 23, San Diego State 22. The Aztecs never trailed in their opener on Monday against Cal State Fullerton. Williams finds Saunders at the free-throw line. He'll stop at 12 feet, back to Rudy straight away. Williams will back it up to E between the circles on a 15-second shot clock. He's bumped off his dribble. That'll be a foul on Lamont Butler, his first, and the Aztecs' fifth here in the first half. 9-16 to play until halftime. BYU basketball brought to you by Big O Tires. Go to BigOtires.com and make an appointment at one of 50 locally owned and operated Utah locations. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Saunders has an advantage with the rope. He's got to chase him on the perimeter. BYU's patient. Rudy. Lost his dribble, falls to the ground with it, and they call the travel. Yeah, he was fine if he'd have stayed on the ground, but then he stood up, so he can't do that. Rudy's been a little bit uh, turnover prone. I like a, a lot about Rudy, but as a point guard, man, you have to take care of that basketball. He just tries to do a little bit too much. Williams, four turnovers in this game. Four of BYU's seven. A real hot start from Rudy and Jackson, and uh, this second go-round in the game for them has not been as good. Lamont Butler up top. Bradley straight away. Right wing, Seiko. Right alley, Mensa. Back to Bradley in the right corner. Bradley will drive the base, pull it out to the corner, stop at the free throw line, face the basket, drop it low to Mensa. Mensa with a five-second shot clock. A left-hand jump hook is no good. And the rebound to Foose taps it to Rudy Williams. BYU in front court leading at 23-22. It's a great defensive Rudy, possession. Rudy, step back, triple, knocks oh. it down. Rudy Williams for three, matching his jersey number. And the Cougs have their third Mountain America Credit Union three of the first half. BYU lead back to four at 26-22. Rudy for three. Mensa on the Mountain West logo, short corner left. Three-point land left to Bradley. Shading him toward the bases. Johnson pass out to Mensa. 18-footer off the iron. Rebound. Saved on the base by BYU. And the Cougs have it in front court leading by four. 26-22. Nice recovery by the Cougs. Rudy will drive it, cuff nice. it, and draw a foul. He'll take free throws or will he? No, nope, they stay on the yet. floor? Okay, on the floor. Team foul number five. Make it six for San Diego State. It'll be BYU basketball out of bounds on this media timeout. 7.58 in the first half. It's BYU by four, 26-22. Cougar basketball next here on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU fans, dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody, from burgers to wings, shakes to salads. JCW's quality, and a lot of it, in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and Harriman. Anytime you can lead San Diego State in points in the paint, you're doing something. 14-4 to four is the BYU edge in the point, in the paint, and the overall edge is four points at 26-22. BYU basketball as we come back in. A great start, and a really BYU playing on attack. A lot of those are off the dribble in the paint, so nice job. Rudy Williams whips it right wing to Richie Saunders. He'll drop it low to Foose. Foose from the right lane is knocked to the ground. No call. Resets to Williams, 25 feet right side. Rudy will drive the base on a five-second shot clock. Rudy posting up, and it's knocked away. Turnover number five for Rudy here in the first half. Yeah, I mean, it's a real problem. He's a dynamic player, but you've got to get that under control. Aztecs in front court right in front of us. Darion Trammell, 35 feet away on the right side. To the three-point line. Cycled Mensa straight away to Butler. Lamont Butler will bounce it on the pick and roll to Mensa. Mensa hard to the hole. And nice touch off the window for Nathan Mensa. He's got four. 
And the Aztecs cut the lead to two. BYU 26, San Diego State 24. 7.04 to go till halftime. We're seeing Hall and Rudy play at the same time. As, like I said, a small lineup for BYU. Spencer Johnson and Saunders on the perimeter. Rudy between the circles. One hand bounce to Johnson straight away. Spencer Johnson right wing. Dallin Hall. Hall three-point land. Foose, give and go back to Dallin. Returns it to Foose, mid post right. Down to three, down to two, and one. And that'll be a shot clock violation. And a turnover as the ball's knocked away. San Diego State transition triple for the lead. And no, missed by Butler. Slap out of bounds by the Aztecs. BYU basketball fortuitously for the Cougs. 6.34 to play until halftime. A couple possessions without even a, a shot attempt for BYU. That's not good getting late in the clock and then not having anywhere to go with it. Nine turnovers now for BYU here in the first half. Get Ian back in the game. Uh, he's a guy that's late. It could create his own shot and get something up there. Cooks have made 10 shots, two nine turnovers. George with Hall. And Gideon will take it front court right side. Gideon straight away. Foose back to Gideon top of the arc. George right junction. Step back three, wide left. Saved in, no. Spencer Johnson gave it a go, but it's essentially an air ball. May have glanced the rim ever so slightly but missed pretty much everything Gideon did on the three you know not a little slow down offensively but BYU's defense has been very good in this game keep it a minute three for the lead missed on the right wing over the over the back and a rope and three, three missed by Ladie and then Foos is fouled and so it'll be one and one at the other end team foul number seven so a rope has his second and Foos will shoot one and one he made, two, he made two in a row a moment ago. Of course, San Diego State missed a front end, and BYU's lane violation gave him another look at it, and they made both. Chance to make a couple more free throws. That's what uh, has kept San Diego State in this game. Was the, they made, made eight to BYU's three so far in this one. 6.08 to play in the first half. BYU by two, 26-24. And Foose at the line for one and one. And a make by Foos. He's three for three. And five points on the night. Had his 10th career double-double Monday in the win over Idaho State. Last year against San Diego State, 9.8 rebounds. And two for two again. Well done by Foos. And BYU's lead four at 28-24. Two free throws in that Idaho State game were just so critical. And I think that gave him confidence. He's shooting free throws very confidently. Ladie straddling the three-point line right side. Seiko. Up top to Ladie. Ladie. Dribble down the lane with the right hand, right to the rim, up and in. Jaden Ladie has nine that was nice. to pace the Aztecs. And two point game, 28 26. Spencer Johnson driving lay in left side. That's a fast break off a of make for BYU. Getting up the floor quickly before the Aztec defense can get set. Allowed Spencer to get to the hoop. Got some kind of uh, brief delay. officials timeout. There's uh, been a spill. There's been a concession spill <laughs> on the far sideline. So the teams will quickly huddle. 536 yeah. to play until the break. It is BYU by four once again, 30 to 26. You know, I got to congratulate the Aztec fans. This is the first time I've been here in my memory that we haven't had any uh, missionaries, quote unquote, with the bicycle helmets up in the stands. The world's getting to be a better place. It's beautiful. <laughs> Even even the show on the, on Twitter today was kind of nice. Hmm. What's the world coming to? San Diego State on an eight-game home win streak. 57-10 and 10 in its last 67 non-conference home games. On Monday night, they picked up their 18th straight home opening win. And 10th consecutive season opening win, defeating Cal State Fullerton 80-57. So the Aztecs coming in 1-0, BYU coming in 1-0. BYU picked third in the WCC. The Aztecs picked to win the Mountain West Conference. Coming in with a number 19 ranking. Fourth preseason top 25 rank for the Aztecs all-time. And their second highest ever preseason rank. The previous high was a 16th back in 2014-15. Still doing some uh, mopping on the far sideline. That was a substantial spill. You know, Greg, uh, 
a lot of people had, rightly so, question marks about this team. And I know it's it's only the second game, but wow, what a great way to come out in this one, played aggressively. Yeah, you're still turning the ball over, but you're attacking. You're getting to the rim. You're scoring in the paint. You're getting after it on defense. I'm just really impressed with this team after what we saw Monday night to come into a top 20 team in this venue. And I know it's still early here in this game, but I'm really, really impressed with the start from this BYU team. Seven players scoring in this first half. Rudy Williams, Gideon George, Spencer Johnson, Foose, Jackson Robinson, Atiki Ali Atiki, and Richie Saunders. Richie's three, by the way, was pretty big when I thought where BYU was at that moment. Yeah, they, they, they said it caught up, and, and BYU was struggling to find a bucket, and he knocked it down. Lamont Butler, we're back in. From back to front. Turnover by Trey Butler. Stewart. And Trey Stewart on the steal. Trey front court right side, goes left wing to Rudy. Rudy will drive it, scoop it high off the window, a little too heavy. And the rebound, Gideon George does well to recover. Nice reset for BYU. Left wing. Spencer Johnson has it knocked out of his hands, recollects in the left corner. Up top two, Trey Stewart. Trey Stewart hard to the hole and takes a hit. He'll get two free throws, missed a shot, but uh, Adam Seiko got him. That'll be team foul number eight, so the uh, foul's evening up in a hurry here late in the second half. And nice both ends plays there from Trey, gets the steal and come down and a little frenetic uh, possession there for BYU. He gets it and takes it strong to the hoop, draws a foul. Trey didn't get a free throw try on Monday, but he knocks down this one. And BYU's lead 5, 31-26. The game high lead for BYU had been 10 at 18-8. 5.06 to go till halftime. Trey's second and one for two is all. First miss of the night from BYU from the line. Aztecs in front court. Trammell Seiko. Back to Trammell. Three-point range. Angle right. One hand hook pass to Ladee. His jump hook is no good, but he took a bump and he'll get two free throws. Gideon George call for the foul. Looked like BYU is almost in a 1 3 1 there. Uh, BYU doesn't play a lot of zone. I love the idea of playing some possessions, you know, throwing different looks at teams. It makes it hard for them to adjust, and uh, I, th- I think it's been effective in this one. So Ladee who's 3 of 4 at the free throw line. You can now make it 4 of 5. First player in double figures is Jaden Ladee with 10. I like Ladee. He's good. He's a big guy and got good handles. Nice soft touch. 6'9", 240 senior. Sat out last season on transfer rules here at San Diego State. Yes, people do still still occasionally sit for a year. He uh, started his career at Ohio State, then to TCU, and now on to SDSU. And he makes it a four-point game, 31-27. Makes it a three-point game, 31-28. Ladee's now made five in a row from the charity stripe, and it's 31-28. BYU in front court, Gideon George. Three-point range right. Straight away, Rudy. Rudy, right-hand dribble. Guarded by Trammell. Trammell runs into a screen. The pass goes to Stewart for three, and Trey knocks it down. Trey living up to his name, knocks down the triple. And the Cougs lead by 6, 34-28. It's another Mountain America Credit Union 3 for BYU. Trey Stewart, 4.20 to play until the break. Trammell drives, stops on the left block. Bounces it out in the corner to Parrish. Parrish cut off on the baseline. Trammell baseline jumper right side, and he knocks it down. Darian Trammell. You don't want to get him going. Great score. Nice little jumper there from Darian. He's got five and makes it a four-point game. Trey again. (laughs) Nope. Missed the three. Offensive rebound. Foose out of bounds. And it'll be San Diego State basketball. 4-0-2 to play here in half number one. BYU still in front. 34-30 is our score now. Darian Trammell has shot seven times, made just two. But the second a moment ago, big one in a six-point game. Now makes it four. Now the Aztecs can make it a... Two or one point game. It's that 1 3 1 from BYU. Tremel out near the Aztecs logo. A one hand pass to Ladee. 12 footer, smooth, just inside the free throw line. Jaden Ladee at 13 here in the first half. Shades of Matt Mitchell. It's a two point game, 34 32. BYU on top. Spencer Johnson straight away, Foose. Foose. Holds it out for Stewart. Jumps a pass to Rudy. Rudy beats his man to the paint. Turnover number six by Williams. Gets it back. Does Rudy no turnover? 
Johnson will drive it, bound to hand off to Foose, and Foose right to the rim. What a big play by Rudy. He gave it up, he got it back, gets it to Spencer, Spencer to Foose, and Foose lays it up and in tremendous play by BYU. A super hustle. Wow, to how, I don't know how Rudy got that, and then a terrific pass from Spencer to draw the defender, and easy bucket for Foose. BYU by four, we'll call that a money moment of the game, brought to you by All Pro Capital. Put your money to work with smart real estate investments at All Pro Capital. Jumper missed by Bradley, rebound to BYU. Cougs up 36-32. Trey Stewart, drift pass in the All corner Rudy. left. Touch pass Rudy for three. Back iron, rebound Trammell. Would have given the Cougs a seven-point lead. What a wide open look. Great penetration from Trey. Loblo, Ladee. Ladee fouled on his way up by Foose. He'll get two free throws after this timeout. 2.41 to go until halftime. It is BYU 36, San Diego State 32. The Aztecs shoot two in a moment on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. All right, so back courtside here at Viejas Arena, San Diego, California. BYU 36, San Diego State 32. BYU shooting 54% to the Aztecs. 36 is all here in the first half. You'd like maybe a little larger lead as Ladee misses the free throw finally. He made five in a row before that miss. Just a second miss. Ten, now 10 for 12 from the Aztecs. Rebounds even 14 apiece. You always look at that number against this program. 2.41 to play and the second free throw is good by Ladee. So He's got 14 here in the first half. It's a one-possession game, 36-33, BYU on top. I just want to finish this half strong. Not, you know, you've played well. Go in with momentum into halftime. Gideon George between the circles, right wing Dallin Hall. Hall 25 feet away. Atiki up top, hands off to Hall. Hall, drive, kick in the left corner. Spencer Johnson for three. Spencer Johnson gives BYU a six-point lead, 39-33. to It's BYU's fifth three of the first half. Played by Dallin, coming off a screen, getting into the paint, drawing the defender, kicking it to the open shooter. Darion Trammell runs Hall, uh, runs Johnson over the screen. Trammell will take it baseline, and his pass hits the underside of the backboard, and then the Cougars knock into themselves and knock the ball out of bounds when they have the rebound. Yeah, Tiki first, a great defense, knocked it away, and BYU looked like they could get it easily, but two players collide on the on the end line. Well, now you need to come out of this with no points allowed because BYU had the possession ended, and two players in position for a rebound. They collide with each other and knock it out of bounds. Jaden Ledee, base right. Ledee windmills on George. Falls away on him and misses it. Great rebound by Spencer Johnson. And good luck from BYU as it rolled off the rim. That touched every part of the rim. Hall starts into a tiki. Entry pass knocked away and BYU fouls. Sent two shots the other way. I think that's how they're triggering that offensive play is the high post feed to a tiki. But... They're just sitting on it, and it has not been good all night. Two or three times it's been knocked away. And Atiki's not the kind of guy that will, you know, he's got, doesn't have the greatest hand, so he's not going to go get that for you. You have to be smart. And even though Menso was two for two, he got the two for two after a front end miss that was only given back to him on a lane violation and not the sure. surest of free throw shooters, and he misses there. So two shots here from Mensa in a six point game. Let's reset this for you. 140 to go till halftime. It is BYU 39 and San Diego State 33 and BYU's led pretty much the entire way here at Viejas. Second of two from Mensa. Really got to box out because it... And, and, there and everybody's in. in. Everybody. Well, they're going to give that one to BYU as the free throw is good and and uh, BYU will get the ball underneath. So big, two big misses there. No good on the free throw. Right. right. I'm saying no good. Right. So 39-33 score stays. Lane violation wipes out the free throw try by Mensa. The lob to Atiki from Stewart collects beneath the basket and takes a bump on the base. And Atiki will get one and one on team foul number nine. So big front end situation here for BYU and a six-point lead. 131 to go till halftime. And Atiki with a front end. Made two big free throws in the Idaho State game, right? The second half. Did Atiki not make a couple? I think he did. I can't remember. I'm just the, the first did, ones did, were he, so he, big. He, he made I his both. Yeah. He made his both. Yep. Miss. Just rimmed out. So you get two big misses on one end. You give it right back. Ah! 
Under 90 seconds to go till halftime. Transition triple for Bradley. No, and then right into the hands of Nathan Mensah, who's fouled, and two more free throws for San Diego State. And it is a parade to the line as Atiki picks it up. Gideon recovered. They, they left Bradley open. The miscommunication. Gideon recovered well. Maybe got a finger on it as it was an air ball. So a lot of times you see those air balls fall right to uh, your teammate because everyone else is kind of expecting it to careen off the rim. And Mensah grabs it. It's fouled. So Mensah's free throws have been an adventure tonight. He's had lane violations on both of his trips. He doesn't pause that badly either as the free throws miss. Kind of came, came off his palm that So time. he's two of four. And the lead is still six for BYU. 120 to play till the break. It's BYU 39, San Diego State 33. Really got to box out because you could have a long miss here. Lane violation. No. Made the free throw. So five for Mensa. BYU by five. 39-34. Maybe only three possessions left here in the first half. Got to make them count. Trey Stewart, top of the key. Lost the dribble, gets it back. Left corner, Spencer Johnson. To the cutter, Gideon George. Gideon, mid-alley left. They double him. They knock it away. They take it away. He gets it back (laughs) and rescues it to Hall. Man, active hands by San Diego State. Dallin Hall with a five-second shot clock. Crossover, step back, won't take that three. Trey Stewart will drive the base, float it, and miss it on the base. The tip no good, and the rebound, Spencer Johnson. Three, three left corner, no, he misses it. Rebound, Atiki Ali Atiki, he's Atiki. fouled by Matt Bradley. And Atiki will get two free throws with 43.9 to go in a five-point game. No BYU. front end, though. This is a two-free-throw situation. Great hustle by BYU. Yeah, just a force of will on that possession for BYU to keep getting the ball back. and Had some good looks. Spencer had an open three from the corner. Couldn't hit it, but a tiki chance to get one or two here. So big free throws for AAA. He's 0 for 1 tonight, missing a front end a moment ago. That's no good. So some points going begging here in the first half for BYU. BYU out shooting San Diego State by nearly 20 percentage points, 52 to 33. And a five-point lead on the board. Atiki's second of two. Got it. Good for him. So six-point game, 40 to 34. A little pressure here so Aztecs don't get a two-for-one. You score 40 in the first half at Viejas, you've done something. They've been terrific. Trammell straight away. Trammell accelerate down the lane. Float it up and Atiki blocks it. And then Ladie comes away with it, goes back up with it, and scores it. BYU can play for close to a final shot here if they realize the situation. 40 to 36. BYU by four. 20 seconds to go and 19 on the shot. BYU can play for a final look or close to it here. Dallin Hall in the left elbow. Low to Atiki. Atiki collects off balance. Falls out of bounds with it. And gives the ball to San Diego State with eight and with seven. Trammell down the lane. Cut off on the block and traveled with it. And BYU will get the final look again here in the first half. With 4.3 to go, BYU will lead at halftime. It is 40-36. to 36. Trammell traveled in the post, but BYU going early. And an awkward look to go early gave the Aztecs a shot. They turn it over, mind you, in BYU basketball. So BYU can now drop a final look here in the first half. Well, listen, I like Atiki as a player, but they've, they've gone to him way too much here as their option. You know, they're sitting at high screen. He rolls, and they're going to him. He's just, if you're going to do that with the big, it's got to be Foos. And, and Atiki will grow into that. He's just not there yet. But with all that said, I mean, that's a negative, obviously. But BYU has just played a terrific half. And now a chance to hit a big, big shot. They'll have plenty of time, 4.3. Big shot going into halftime. You're up six or seven. Wow. I mean, what a remarkable performance. Regardless whether this goes in, terrific half from BYU. BYU in the Mark Pope era, 56-7 and seven when leading at halftime. And BYU will lead at halftime tonight. 4.3 to go. Both teams on the floor in their 30-second huddle. BYU in this game. Being out-rebounded just by one, 17-16. The offensive rebounds 5-3 in the Aztecs' favor. Second chance points 10-4 in the Aztecs' favor. Aztecs will pick up full court here, but they better be careful. You don't want to foul. 
Yeah, both teams shoot two. Oh, well, this is new. Four people out of bounds for BYU. Well, like this they're is, starting a race. All five. This is the oh, uh, th- this is the wide receivers uh, snap situation. So Saunders into Stewart with three and with two. Trey with one uh, passes and they don't get a shot off and it'll be halftime. Forty to thirty-six. BYU leads San Diego State by four. At the break, halftime recap next here on the new skin BYU Sports Network.